Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this week's Head Teacher Bulletin for the week commencing the 13th of November. I hope you've all had a lovely week. Let's get going with today's bulletin. So in the Gospel this week, Jesus tells the story of ten bridesmaids who are waiting for the arrival of the bridegroom. When the bridegroom arrives, the wise ones who had spare oil are ready to greet him with their lamps lit, while the foolish ones are left in the dark. As practical people, we may side with the wise women in this story. Surely anyone would, who would make sure they are prepared for all eventualities. But maybe this is not so simple. The wise women had enough oil to share, and surely even in times of poor judgment and lack of preparation, human beings should not be left to suffer the consequences. Social justice seeks inclusivity and the idea that no one should be left behind. In society, this would mean not pointing the finger of blame, but instead ensuring that marginalised and vulnerable people are not excluded and have shared in equal access to resources. The wise bridesmaids remind us of the need for long-term perspective and being prepared for all eventualities. And this is something we've been sharing with our pupils this week. So rewards are going tremendously. Um, we're really proud um, to say that I think about 97% of our pupils are, are obtaining positive points. And you can see on that pie chart there that um, you know, whole school for the last seven days. We're, we've got lots of green and lots of praise being uh, given out. Also, our golden tickets are, are moving forward at pace. Um, students are really enjoying the, the full prizes this, this half term that they've selected. So we've got an Xbox, we've got some GHB straighteners, uh, we've got love to, love to shop vouchers and Amazon vouchers to work towards achieving. So keep going with those golden tickets, keep going with the rewards. You know, we're really proud of students and how they're behaving recently um, across the school. So we have Remembrance last Friday. I mentioned it in my bulletin last week that we were observing the two minute silence. Um, but we held a service for staff and students to mark Remembrance Day. Um, we had some readings, we had some song, uh, prayer, and obviously a moment of reflection and silence to um, come together as a whole school community. And it was a wonderful occasion. Um, we were outside and you know, we, we had time for, for pause and reflection to really think about um, the, the messages and, and tributes uh, for those who unfortunately lost their lives. So Mission Week, uh, we've, we've come to the end of Mission Week, the last day today, um, but it, it, it's, it's been a fantastic week. Um, lots of workshops taking place throughout the week. Uh, we had our Alpha launch event on Tuesday after school with over 90 students staying behind um, to, to be involved in that event. Um, obviously Wednesday after school we had our main event, um, which you can see there's some photos of that on, on this slide, and a massive thank you to everyone who attended from the diocese, from the community, and parents and carers who were there just to support our wonderfully talented students um, as part of uh, celebrating their, their gifts and talents at the school. So um, we end today with, with a, a celebration mass led by Bishop David, which is a, a, a really um, joyous occasion that, that we welcome Bishop David into the school to, to celebrate mass. Um, and we look forward to moving forward with the mission um, for the rest of this year and building on the faith of the school um, over the years to come. So tonight um, we've got six formers sleeping out uh, for the Hope uh, Charity, uh, the Hope Centre in Northampton. They're, they um, completed this last year and it's become a, a bit of a tradition. Um, but yeah, six formers will be out sleeping rough uh, on the school grounds for um, the night to raise much needed funds for Northampton Hope Centre. So um, you've got the link to the Just Given page. Um, please, 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 if you can spare any um, donations, um, you know, as small as it, it may be, um, please support us and, and donate. I think we raised well over a thousand pounds last year. I think the total is creeping up ever so slightly, but you know, the Just Given page is, is open for all to access, and we hope they uh, enjoy tonight and uh, wrap up warm with lots of hot chocolate, tea, and soup. Reminder about uh, Tesco Stronger Starts, keep going with those tokens, we're really keen to, to win the tokens, get the most value for um, setting up our outdoor gym and uh, sensory area in, in our allotments um, on the school ground. So if you shop at any of those places, please put the tokens in um, and let's get Thomas Beckett winning the first prize. Reminder lastly about key dates, so next week on Friday is our um, Trust Wide Training Day, so school is closed on the Friday the 20, uh, 24th of November. Um, we've got some students coming in in year 11, um, 
particularly to finish off some control assessment and they've had a personal invitation to, to come in. So um, school is closed for, for everyone apart from selected individuals um, and we'll look forward to seeing you uh, back on the Monday the week after. Again, you know, parents evenings on Thursday the 30th. We had year eight parents evening last night, well attended and a really you know, joyous occasion uh, hearing about lots of progress being made by year eight. So we look forward to seeing you and our parents um, on the 30th. Have a wonderful weekend and we'll catch up next week. Take care.